from Ella Mays here and welcome to my next video which is going to be Halloween themed this week. I'm going to be decorating the front room. I've managed to collate bits here and there over the last few weeks. Probably nothing matches but I do want to put some decorations up. It's the 8th of October today and I just feel like with everything this year it would be really nice to decorate early for Halloween. Usually I put stuff up maybe like the week leading up to the 31st but this time, especially working from home, I feel like the house could do with a little bit of decoration. Why not? So you can come with me and help me decorate and see what you think. See if there's anything else I need to get as I'm going shopping tomorrow. I also just really quickly wanted to show you my brand new t-shirt, which is from Magical Day Apparel. It's my lovely Halloween print. So you've got the Halloween Mickey there with the pumpkins. Um, so I thought this is, it's maiden journey today. So I thought, how, what better time to wear it than when I'm putting up my Halloween decorations? So this in my front room is the main fireplace area, which is where generally for any celebration, Christmas, birthdays, and this year it's gonna be Halloween, I seem to decorate. Now yesterday was my sister's birthday, 21st birthday, so we just put a couple of things up here. We are gonna have a, um, um, a proper celebration at the weekend. So this was sort of just for her actual day when she woke up because we were out for the day yesterday just a couple of things on the fireplace so this is what I will be putting all of the ha Halloween decorations on so first I'll take all these items off and then we can see um, where we think we should space out the other Halloween bits so over the last few weeks I've bought so many little Halloween bits like bits and bobs I've actually forgotten everything I've got so I'm going to get it out to show you all so this is actually something that I've had for a few years, an inflatable pumpkin. This may not go in here, that might go sort of maybe in the hallway or something. And this is a very recent purchase. I don't know if anyone knows this yet, but Sainsbury's have bought out a Disney Halloween range. Maleficent is one of my favorite evil characters. And you can see, so sort of she just got her dress or cape there and she hangs now I want to try and incorporate that into here somewhere so maybe I'll see if I can hang her maybe off the edge of the fireplace or something but I just absolutely love her um so not surprisingly this is sold out very quickly so this is the only item that I have collected so far but Sainsbury's is our local supermarket so I'm going to keep an eye out and see if there's any other bits I can get and obviously I'll update you on my Instagram along the way this is another um, lantern that we've had just from over the years, it's a nice green pumpkin. Now it is meant to have a little metal thing in the middle to, to keep it upright and we have in fact lost that so I doubt we'll be using that for this year but that is in our Halloween bag. Now this is a purchase that I made, I think it was from, I think it was from Wilco. I know it's in the Wilco bag, but I'm storing all sorts in here. Um, it's plastic, and it does light up, so it's just got the little pull cord there. Haven't actually tested it out yet, but it's a really, really nice size. So this will probably sit either in the middle of the fireplace, I reckon, or on the on the bottom down there. We'll see. There's sort of two little bits that look cute there. Now... I oh my goodness this shows how uh how well I turn things out these are actually not Christmas bits I picked up little side story last year for Christmas I really wanted to make some really cute cocktails they were white cocktails um a bit like eggnog and then I saw um just these little candy canes just on the side of the glass and they just looked really pretty last year could I find any mini candy canes for love nor money no I couldn't so I went into um think this was in the pound shop and I saw these and I thought I can't not get them because goodness knows if I'll be able to get those for Christmas and the same with these candy canes as well we've decided in the front room this year we're going to do the red and white theme for the last few years I've had this light blue color on my nail varnish white and silver um, but this year we just want to shake things up a bit and use some of the older decorations we have. So I've got some of these which we can pop around the Christmas tree. So they need to go in my Christmas box. Moving into here, this is 
these these are like gold dust basically this is the most prettiest pumpkin as you can see it does not match my other pumpkin at all but i loved it so it's clear and it's full of tinsel and it does in fact light up so let me see we've got a little tester button here so you can have, have an idea of what it looks like which is not working it worked the other day oh there you go look how pretty that is they only had one when I went to B&M at the weekend. I was hoping to get a few, which is such a shame, but you can see why it's been so, so popular. So I did pick that up, um, and we'll see where we can incorporate it, but I'm gonna love it nonetheless. Next thing I got, this was a really um, cool purchase from eBay. I just wanted some kind of autumnal wreath on the top of the fireplace, and although it's not Halloween as such, is very autumn, autumn, autumnal. I was going to say autumnly. Um, this has got little fairy lights in, so it does need batteries. But this was only seven pounds on eBay. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I haven't taken it out of the packet yet, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like. But I just thought it would add a bit of texture and colour and put some lights up there, which will look really pretty. And then last but not least, in this carrier bag, and they've got slightly stuck. I just got two black roses and I just thought they could um, maybe go on the top of the fireplace, one either side and just add a little bit of dark texture. I just thought they were really pretty. Um, would look, well, look quite nice with my Maleficent, I think. So that's what we've got in that bag. Now, in this one, I've only got actually two little pumpkins. These were my first Halloween purchase of this year and these were from Home Bargains. I just, re oh, they were glittery, so how could I not get them? Um, I got two of them, but as you can see my dilemma, maybe actually this is the only one that's the dilemma. I've got lots and lots of different Halloween decorations. I really don't know how they're gonna blend together, but this is why I wanted to put them out today, so I could see if I can get any Halloween bits along the next few weeks. Um, now, decoration-wise, that's all that I currently have at the moment. But what I do have over here are Halloween buckets that we've collected along the way. So I had um, two of these ones. Um, you can see this was a little bit tatty. I've had these for quite a few years. Um, and I did pick up another one from the pound shop online, which is this one, which is quite cute. It's, it's a lighter orange colour. And I also picked this one up, which was from the pound shop online. And I really love the black because obviously it goes quite nicely with the black roses that I have. And obviously now my Maleficent. Everything else I have for Halloween seems to be Halloween sweets. So, <laughs> um... I did pick up just some of these drumsticks, the little, little packets which I've already um, started to eat. But the Halloween themed sweets have been really cool. So I've got these Haribo triple treats, 10 bags. I did buy these for Halloween, but I don't think trick or treating will be able to really happen this year. So I think once I've got the Halloween decorations up, at the weekends and in the evenings when I'm watching a film, I think I'll just tuck into these as and when, and I can just put them in these little buckets, which will be quite sweet, maybe around the fireplace. I also picked up this, up this from the pound shop online, um, the Haribo Scare Mix. I love Haribo, and to be honest, I haven't tried the Scare Mix. I think it's going to be the same as their usual Haribo, just different colours. We'll see. But what I really did love is this tub. Now, I've put it, I put it in this bucket, and I actually think it's a little bit stuck now. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh no, there you go. So it's a it's a big old tub. Um, but I, I just really, really like this tub. So when I finished all the sweets, this is will take me a while. It's not just me, it'll be my family as well. Um, I'm gonna save this tub and have a think what I can do with it. Um I thought it was really handy. And what I've also found are these two red candles, which I'd put away for Christmas, actually. Now, they're exactly the same as the ones on the fireplace that I showed you earlier. They're the battery-operated ones um, that flicker. But I was thinking maybe the red ones, especially with my autumn wreath, 
will make a little bit of a nicer change on the top of the fireplace to the white ones. So I think what we'll need to do is put the wreath out first um, and then put everything else around it and see how we get on. I do have two of these candles, so one at each end. Maybe I could have this in the middle with the autumn wreath, that will look quite pretty. So to start my decorating, I thought I would go on Disney Plus and put a Halloween film on. They've got their Halloween collection on there. Let's have a look. I'm feeling in maybe like a hocus pocus mood. I feel like that's one of my favourite Halloween films at the moment. Nobody hate me, but today, this is the first year that I have actually watched Hocus Pocus, so. So we've got Hocus Pocus, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, Haunted Mansion, Edward Scissorhands, Into the Woods, all oh, Descendants, do I feel in a sing-song mood? I think, go with the, one of the best Halloween films, Hocus Pocus. You've just got to, haven't you? Okay, I've got a couple of Disney Halloween parades up here. I have watched a couple of these before, but I can't remember which one I really liked, so feel like it's always good to go with one that's had a lot of views because you know it's genuinely a really good one. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one. Oh, I'm so excited already! Has anyone been to um, Disney World for Halloween and seen this parade? Because I've been to Disneyland Paris for Halloween but never to Disney World and to be honest Christmas is really my time of year. That's really where I get super excited and Halloween is sort of something that I've come to love more and more over the last few years so I would be curious to see this sometime um, oh my god even the music is making me want to sing and dance and there's Mickey all dressed up in his Hello and Minnie they look so sweet oh I'm getting distracted guys we'll have this on in the background as we put our Halloween stuff up I found a little Charlie. Now he's actually sulking on the side of the sofa because, look at him. What are you doing? Are you sulking? Are you being all sad? Basically he wants me to sit on the sofa with him to have a cuddle but because I'm busy he's been laying there sulking and whining and now he's looking at me. Oh funny he's got his bear for me here which very fitting with Halloween because it's like a teddy bear horror story here. He, oh, <laughs> the teddy doesn't even have a face. Definitely fitting with Halloween. This is hilarious. Look at that, everyone. Oh, look away, kids. Now, Charlie is obsessed with cuddly toys. Any kind of ball or <laughs> rubber treats um, or toys. You're never interested in them ever since he was a puppy, but cuddly toys, he loves them. Which is quite good because we usually just pick them up from charity shops. Um, obviously not ones with the beads in um, the feet or the hands because we made that mistake once, we didn't check, and what a mess. It took us weeks to clear them up. Um, but what he does is when he has favourites, he's also got a little penguin here whose face has been mauled. It's another Halloween horror story. What he does is he likes to find little edges, so he usually starts with the face, the nose and the eyes, because they're the hard bits. And then quite often, if he really, 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 really loves the toy, he won't chew it up. He'll just pull some stuffing out. This one has lasted since November last year, so it's been quite good. But when he's in that sort of playful mood, he'll chew the arms and the legs off and the face off. So you're literally just left with a body and a head and then he'll take all of the stuffing off and then you'll literally just be left with the shell of a toy. Sounds horrifying, but it makes him really happy, so that makes me happy. And because I've given him attention now, he's now playing with his toy, all happy. Um, guarantee when I go back to decorating, he will stop playing with his toy and start whining again. Because <laughs> he's a little prince. Okay, I just found two more packages of sweets that I bought a few weeks ago, put away, and forgotten about so I've got some 
Percy Pig Gets Spooky. I think I had these last year. They weren't my favourite flavour um, compared to the normal Percy Pigs, but they do look really cute. So I picked some more of these up. And some of these, which I think, chocolate-wise, are some of my favourite because I really, really love cream eggs. And these are the goo heads. They're, they're little. I can feel they're sort of about that size. Um, there's not many in there. But we've got plenty of Halloween sweets here. Um, <laughs> Maleficent's, Maleficent's face just poking out of there. Look, it's quite terrifying. Um, to be honest, the sweets look more exciting than the decorations that I've picked up, which is uh, a very, very sad scene. He's still happy playing with his bear. Look at this little cutie pie. He's so cute. Yes, you're so cute. I'm talking about you. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? <laughs> he needs a haircut. If anyone can't tell, his fur is all the way over his eyes and we can't actually see his face, but um, his fur grows super quickly. And this just fell out on the floor and it's come apart. Now I'm hoping it's not completely broken because you can see it has the grooves here that I think it is meant to come off. But now I'm panicking and also I didn't realise that you'd have to wind the lights through yourself. They're very, very small and thin. I just assumed it would all come in twine. So this part may, might take me longer than I realised and hopefully I haven't broken it. God almighty, that does not look safe, does it? You can see this is one of the things getting stuff from eBay. You can see that's all open there and I can't see how it would press into anything here. I don't know, I'll let you guys know. Update, I put the lid on and I've realized I have broken it. This fixture on the end there, I don't know if you can see, is meant to clip into place and it, this bit has snapped off. So when you put it in, it, it doesn't actually stay. But providing that the lights still work, that's not a problem because I can just sellotape that. But how annoying, I literally got it out the packet and within two seconds, I've broken it. Brilliant. In other news, Halloween Parade is still going strong. I fixed them. I used some sellotape and it worked fine. I ran them around just very, very roughly, but to be honest, it's such thin wire, you can't, you won't be able to really see that. I, oh my God, I've just noticed I've got some of my wax on here from my wax melts, oopsie. Um, but how effective does that look? It really, really warms the rim up. Guys, it's Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell! I literally love her. You do not see enough of her in Disneyland. And look at her flow, it's so pretty. I think this is about a year old, this parade. Um, but I honestly don't think they have her in enough parades. It's just brilliant. Right, I'm gonna start with putting probably this one in the middle and then building everything up, else up around it. Now I pulled the little thing out. Um, to be honest, I got this because I liked it. I, I was just gonna put one of the battery operated ones in the bottom. I didn't realize till I got home that it already had a light in it. So let's see what it looks like oh it's blue oh oh no it's oh oh it's all colorful to be honest this will probably be really effective at night and will look quite nice but what i might do is if i don't want sort of you know disco pumpkin i'll probably just put one of my normal battery operated ones in the middle which you won't see so multi-purpose i guess Let's turn this off. Okay, let's try putting this up there. And do we think in front of the lights? Oh, come on. There we go. I think in front of the lights. That looks quite pretty. And then what I could do is either put one of these either end because I've got two and they're both orange, maybe there. I will obviously. Just where I'm going to put everything. Happy Halloween. 
That looks quite sweet, doesn't it? It's actually not completely central, which is doing my head in. What do we think? I think that looks really cute. So the only other thing I've got to find is where to put this one that I fell in love with. Maybe I'll just put that on top of my wax melts because it matches my wax melts. But also, where am I going to put my wax melt pot? It actually already has one of the Halloween smells in there. If I put that in the middle, it's just not going to look right, is it? So maybe I'll put it down there on the table. All these things you have to think of. I feel like that's such an open area at the top there. I feel like I need some kind of Halloween sign or maybe I'll try and get one this weekend. Hmm. Right, I thought for a bit of added elevation, I put the red candle up the top there and the one we had before just to see which one looks better. I honestly think the red one looks better. I wasn't quite sure because we haven't really got any red decorations, but I think it just blends all of the leaves together. So I think I'm going to put a red candle on either end, batch operated. Let's just put one on now so we can see what it will look like. Oh no, has <laughs> I got any batteries? Oh, okay. Well, I have to get some this weekend, but I can show you with this other one, which I know definitely has batteries. Oh, hey, wait, maybe I could just swap them out. There we go. That's what it's meant to look like. It flickers like a normal candle. So if I had two of the red ones, that would look so nice. Still going with the Halloween parade. We've got some Incredibles outfits there. Oh, Edna Mode. Brilliant. She needs to appear in more parades. This is actually a a really good parade. I need to find out. That's who it is. The best mug ever for a Halloween decorating day. It's the Disney Villains mug. This is from Asta. I do believe they still sell it. They've been selling it for a few months now. I think it's something ridiculous like £2.25. Absolutely brilliant. And we just love the Asta Halloween range at the moment. Right, we've swapped the batteries out on the candles. So we've put them in the red ones, which looks super super pretty and we've also hung Maleficent on there so I reckon when some of the Sainsbury stock comes back in I'm gonna get another one not Maleficent I probably they had um, Ursula and they had Jack Skellington um, so one of those on the other side which will look really really nice Let's bring a little bit of Disney to our Halloween theme the good thing about Maleficent is you can bend her arms. So her shoulder looks a little bit broken at the moment. But um, she kept turning the wrong way. So I've put her arms like that, which seems to be keeping her balance, which is brilliant. Um, I've kept this one down here um, with my matte wax melt. Um, it doesn't really ma match any decorations, but I do really like it. That can stay down here. Now, things I've got left are my Halloween buckets. So, I don't think I'll put all of them in here, but I do want to put a couple on there with some sweets in. This one, I just picked this up and realised in the bottom that there are loads of treats. I went to my friend's baby shower last weekend. Um, socially distanced, of course. There was only a small group of six of us, three of which are family members she lives with, and they had all kinds of little games. So I won lots of prizes. So we've already got some Halloween treats in there. I definitely want to use the black one. I know that for sure. So um, I'll put one of the black ones there. And then one of these ones on the other side. Or maybe I'll do three. Like that. With the black one in the middle. So you've got that up there. That will be fine for now. It does look a bit cluttered and a bit odd, but what I'm thinking I might be able to put in the middle one is my black roses. So if I can somehow make, we don't put the fire on at the moment, it's just not cold enough. So I could put those in there and it'll just create it a little bit higher. Let's see how I get on with that. Right, so I've spaced out all my little buckets. So it was way too cluttered with three on there. So I've just kept this one on there and put some of my favorite sweets in there and we can open them as and when we want 
and I've just put the tub next to it. I really, really am stuck with these two black roses. So if anyone has any suggestions, um, please let me know. So I'll just put them in there for now. My sister suggested maybe putting them in these plants, but I'm wondering if that looks weird. Um, either side of our sofa, we do have two tables. So I've put one of the buckets on there, which has got just random sweets in. And I put the other bucket on this side here, um, which actually going to empty these squashies into probably not a good idea having sweets on hand like that when you're watching telly no doubt i will just tuck into those all the time um but there you go so we've got a little sweet tub there now up here i've just kept some of the older decorations that we have um you know a bit more christmas -y, but on top of the fireplace I did trial, instead of putting that in the middle there, putting the roses across there, didn't look right. Tried putting them in those flowers, didn't look right. That's basically it. I mean, I, I tried putting them along here, but because the stand is black and the flowers are black, there wasn't just an, enough of a... Uh, they, they weren't showing enough. And they kind of aren't in there either. So, if you can suggest where I might be able to put those flowers, please let me know. But for now, this is our Halloween decorations. Charlie, hi handsome. He's been a very good boy. Charlie, are you a good boy? He's so cute. Hey munchkin, we love you. <laughs> Little update. This is what it looks like at night. Absolutely love it and I got this little sign in Sainsbury's today, just popped in there to have a look at the Disney stuff. It is all sold out, um, which I'm totally not surprised about. Um, I will try maybe tomorrow or in a couple of days time, but I did manage to get this sign, which I think just completes this area. Also got this little tombstone here. So I've put that there in the fireplace and just crisscrossed the black roses. And I actually think that has a nice effect to it. Um, that's really the only things we've got. We've got a couple of these signs here. My sister got them for her nail studio. So we've got enter if you dare, keep out, and we also put them, there you go, on the front door there. So when you walk in, it just looks really striking. So yeah. Okay, so I've come shopping in Blue Water today to try and find some more Halloween decorations. What I didn't realise is they actually have a Halloween shop. I've never seen one of these before. It's called Halloween Town. It is incredible. I literally do not know where to look first. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Some of the details they have here. So hopefully I'll be able to find a few cool little things that I can buy. I mean, look, look at this. If you're having a Halloween party, what a great idea. Just put around the bottles. I love these little signs. Look, they're just tiny little signs. And this one caught my eye. The witch is in. Hilarious. Two new purchases from Sainsbury's today. Um, I was really hoping to get some more Disney filling things, but these are the only things they have. They are super, super popular, as I mentioned before. Um, they had the Ursula hanging thing, and I was debating whether to put the Ursula on the other side, but I decided I liked the Jack Skellington more. So I managed to get him, and he's going to hang the other side of the fireplace. And then for on the TV, each end of the TV sort of there and there, I did want these little light up pumpkin things. Um, the only one they had was this Maleficent and actually when you turn the light on, look at that, she looks so fantastic. So I got one um, just because I, oh, I just think these are going to be like gold dust now. So I'm really happy I got her so she will, let's put her on there now actually. 
just sit on the edge of the TV like that. And then I'll put my Jack up there. Okay, so Jack is happily hanging now on the edge of the fireplace. Fortunately, he won't stay this way. There's nothing I can do to make him stay like that, but that's fine. It's like he's looking at us when we're sitting on the sofa. So with all the lights on and my new sign that I got yesterday, we've got Maleficent and Jack with all of our autumnal bits on the top there. And then we've got our Maleficent on the TV down there. Right, I have one final update for you. I have officially stopped buying Halloween things now. Um, it has been almost a week since I started this video. So I have collected a few things here and there. So we've discussed about the Disney items and that I wanted that tall pumpkin to go on the fireplace. Now, since then, um, we have actually had to put that there in front of the fire. Now that did used to be in our back room. But because we're moving things around, we didn't have space for it there anymore. So we've had to temporarily put it there. Um, it's just a, one of those electric fires. Um, but we didn't really have anywhere else to put it. So rather than putting it away in the garage, we just put it there for now. But that did mean that where I had the tombstone, I couldn't have that there. And the pumpkins have had to be moved as well. So today, I managed to get the three stack of pumpkins, which I absolutely love. It comes with the light inside there. Hi Charlie. Hello, look at you looking at me like that. Hey little baby. I'm such your paw. Oh, thank you. Oh, so cute. Um, so we've got the three stack of pumpkins there, which I originally wanted there, but the tombstone is there now. So could put the tombstone over there and keep the pumpkins there but you know we may switch that round but I have got all of my Halloween decorations now ready there. also on another Halloween note I have just had my nails done and look how incredible these are I've got my little witch ghost here my pumpkin my Jack Skellington um, and then on the other hand, pretty much the same, but my little ghost here is a little devil. Now these were done by my sister, she is a nail technician and works from home. Um, and her Instagram page is Nailstorm if you want to look at some of her really cool designs. But absolutely love them. Thanks so much for watching with me along the way guys, and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye!